Guys, let us look at the etiopathogenesis of um, emphysema in this video. So basically, etiopathogenesis means what? The causes, right? Anyways, I'm, I just want to tell you that uh, here we are reading from the textbook Harsh Mohan Pathology. Now, let us uh, look at the etiopathogenesis. That is the causes of uh, emphysema. Mainly, you will say smoking and air pollution. Fine. This is generally how you say etiopathogenesis. Sometimes, it could be occupational. Sometimes, it could be even familial or genetic. Okay. So, these could be the main causes. Let us look at the details of the pathogenesis. This, is, this was the etiology. Guys, the etiology is over. Please wake up. Now, I am going to the pathogenesis. Pathogenesis... Uh, this is how they are, you know, in a very small uh, gist, they are telling you that there is destruction of the alveolar walls due to deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin. This alpha-1 antitrypsin is a very good thing for us. It is a green thing. However, when this is deficient, you will have destruction of alveolar walls. And this is explained by this theory, protease-antiprotease hypothesis. We will explain that to you. Okay. So, let me explain that here itself. See, what happens is alpha-1 antitrypsin is also called as alpha-1 protease inhibitor. So, it is going to be inhibiting protease. What it is going to do? Inhibiting protease. So, now if there is deficiency of this alpha-1 anti, uh, antitrypsin, it, there will be more protease. <clears throat> if there is more protease, this protease is nothing but elastase. Okay. So, it is going to destroy this protease or this elastase, all of these are bad. They destroy the elastic fibers in the terminal bronchioles, the respiratory bronchioles. They destroy elasticity, right? They destroy the elastic fibers. They destroy elasticity. So, the air sacs become distended. Distend dead correct right the air sacs become distended and the alveolar septal septal they become broken alve alveolar septa are broken okay this much did you understand here the protease elastase increase okay as they increase they destroy the elasticity the air sacs become distended alveolar septa become broken same thing now we are going to read from the textbook please look at this alpha 1 antitrypsin is a glycoprotein it is also called as alpha 1 protease inhibitor see there are some terms here alpha 1 at alpha 1 antitrypsin alpha 1 pi that is alpha 1 protease inhibitor both are the same so this is a glycoprotein it is a normal constituent and uh, it is actually synthesized by the gene which is on the chromosome 15. Chromosome 15 has this gene. Okay. Now, this alpha 1 antitrypsin is synthesized in the liver and uh, it what it normally does, it binds to, uh, sorry, it inhibits proteases. So, proteases are inhibited. There will be less proteases and hence there will be uh, there will be no degradation of the elastic fibers. However, if alpha-1 antitrypsin is less, then the proteases increase, mainly elastases. Under the proteases, there are many. Mainly the elastases will increase. These elastases, these proteases are actually derived from neutrophils. And as the neutrophils will release proteases, there will be more protease. They will, these elastases have the capacity to digest lung parenchyma that is what is written here I'm ho i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to say is these proteases are actually made by neutrophils they have the capacity to digest lung parenchyma however whenever this alpha 1 antitrypsin was there these proteases were getting inhibited okay now that's it guys this covers the protease antiprotease hypothesis for this you can also draw a nice diagram this is that diagram smoking Smoking will um, cause more neutrophils, recruitment, inflammation. These neutrophils will increase, they will release protease. Okay. Smoking will, inhibition of the alpha-1 antitrypsin will happen because of the oxidant in smoke. 
there is inhibition of alpha 1 anti so trypsin as alpha 1 anti trypsin is deficient there is less anti protease activity so first of all anti protease activity is less over that protease is being made more so definitely there is so much so much so much more protease which will be more of elastase it means there will be elastic damage resulting in emphysema draw this diagram for protease anti protease hypothesis the same diagram again they have explained in text format so let me explain that to you there is destruction of the um, alveolar wall due to elastolytic action which is uh, caused by the imbalance between the proteases and the antiproteases this is uh, due to deficiency of alpha 1 antitrypsin also there is increased activity of elastase by cause of the neutrophil infiltration what else you should know here uh, there is uh, oxidant in cigarette smoke cigarette smoke consists of oxidant they have an inhibitory influence on alpha 1 antitrypsin so alpha 1 antitrypsin uh, gets inhibited and the uh, smokers have uh, more phagocytes and neutrophils in their lungs hence there is very high elastase activity same thing explained again okay just a closing note here the organ uh, that also gets affected by this alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency is the liver there can be obstructive jaundice because of the alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency there can be cirrhosis of liver and hepatoma that is hepatocellular carcinoma of the liver that is the liver right hepatocellular car carcinoma it's a malignant tumor okay so this is uh, brief about pathogenesis in the next video we will give you the pathogenesis genetically please come back for it